welcome to our Digital Enterprise Showcase. Now we will talk about how to become more flexible using the digital twin and our digital enterprise portfolio. The following example focuses on developing new machines faster and more efficient. Hi Helmut, would you tell us a bit more about the wrapping machine that we see here? Yes, Magnus. But first, let's talk about some of the current challenges for machine builders. New machines have to be built specifically to meet customized requirements because industry wants more and more flexibility. And of course, such machines need to be delivered fast and with highest quality. Here's an example of a machine from TrackRap, a small company from the UK that meets very specific requirements. With a pioneering designing, it uses cold wrapping technology, which reduces energy and material consumption. So TrackRap developed their machine using the digital twin concept, which means a completely virtual development that enables them to try various machine concepts before building them in real. They were able to analyze the machine's productivity with the NX Mechatronics concept designer at a very early stage and the parallel development of mechanical, electrical and automation design helped them to save a lot of time during the development. They also used uh, multi-physics simulation to optimize the design. Right, the challenge for TrackRap was to wrap very unstable products, such aerosol cans. Traditionally, you build a physical model and work with try and error principles until it works, or you are so frustrated that you just give up. But it would be cheaper and faster to make the proof of concept virtually before investing in physical hardware. Here we see the simulation of the wrapping process. The spool of foil is rotating around the products and wraps them. The physical load of the rotating parts were simulated using FEM analysis to validate the dimension of the axis. So what are the key takeaways from the simulation they carried out? Well, even early in the development of a new machine, it is possible to evaluate different machine concepts to see which works best. This helps to meet the specific requirements of the customer and saves a significant amount of time during development. But let's hear it from Martin Leeming, the CEO of TrackRap. Yeah, you know, we've, we've been on a, a digital journey really for the last sort of three to four years and we already have a, a digital uh, twin uh, of our machine which has allowed to get our, our eco innovation to market much, much more quickly, you know, around about 40% more quickly and allowed us to reduce the cost and time to get it to market by around about 30% as well. So, you know, we've already had benefits from this, but I think we're just starting to realise that, that that digital model that we've got has got far more applications going forward than probably we even uh, uh, imagined ourselves. Fascinating results, I must say. So the digital twin of the product is also the basis for the digital twin of the production, which can be built faster thanks to parallel working of all engineering disciplines. So why don't we show that also, Helmut? Well, instead of traditional engineering with disciplines like mechanical, electrical and automation design working sequentially, Automation Designer brings all these disciplines together in one single tool and allows collaborative automation design. With that, we take available data from the mechanical design or the planning process and connect it to the electrical and automation design. The required automation and electrical information can be generated based on predefined rules instead of being programmed manually. So this allows for quick sprints, which definitely makes engineering a lot faster and less prone to errors. And everything that is created with Automation Designer can then be transferred easily to our engineering framework, the TIA portal, where working with the digital twin continues. Right, bringing everything together in the TIA portal allows to test the digital twin 
without having to fear that something breaks. And with this approach, you know that your machine will work as planned and designed long before you actually build it. Exactly. If something crashes in the virtual world, nothing breaks. You simply adjust some parameters, making sure it works without any collision. Our digital twin concept enables the full use of simulation and virtual commissioning. With that, everything, let me tell you, everything is simulated before real commissioning to reduce errors and time to market. And when the machine is up and running, the benefit using the digital twin continues. The machine is producing a lot of data, which we capture in our digital twin of the performance. And now it's all about to make use of this valuable information. Industrial Edge allows to optimize the machine performance by collecting and analyzing the data right on the machine using specific applications. Yes, for example, the Edge app Live Twin running on an Edge device brings the digital twin of the machines to life. This allows to feed back actual data to the digital twin to continuously optimize the virtual model for best machine performance. This virtual approach enables, for example, virtual sensors instead of real ones. Just think about a use case where you can't even place real sensor. For example, when we talk about glass production, where it is even too hot for sensors to work. Turning big data into smart data not only works on the machine level, but also offers completely new possibilities. Think about new business models. TrackRap exactly uses this machine data to generate new business models. But let's hear it from Martin. We're a little bit unique because we run a, a pay for outcomes model. So we're responsible for the output of our machines and the performance of our machines. And um, we call it a pay per app system. So therefore the book stops with us and we have to be able to manage, uh, hopefully, a, a global fleet of, uh, of machines centrally effectively. So, you know, we kind of got our head around the fact that we needed to collect data for that and get data up onto MindSphere or, or, or the cloud as we'd know it. But you know, how do we how do we learn from the data coming from uh, uh, from the machine? How do we how we do we turn the data into actions? These are the questions we're asking. And how do we deploy updates remotely so that we can avoid that issue of having to go onto site, which a you know saves money and, and b safeguards people as well. So you know, we certainly think that in, in industrial edge is the uh, is the answer to that to, to that. And that's why we've we, we, we you know we've been, begun a program to start uh, exploiting that technology. And that's a very important aspect for your competitiveness. But um, how do you set up the infrastructure for data collection and analytics? Or where do you get the know-how from? Well, the simple answer is digital enterprise services. Our experts support you right from the start with consulting, implementation and optimization, from identifying which data to collect, to installing required hardware, to training artificial intelligence, which helps you analyzing huge amounts of data a lot faster. And this leads to predictive maintenance and quality assurance, for example. And I think, is that a phone ringing? Oh, oh. Is that your phone? Right, the machine is calling. I don't believe you. Seriously, it's the Edge App Notifier which pings me on. The machine needs my attention. I have to go right now. Bye. Wow. Okay, how cool is that? Your machine talks with you when it needs your special attention to ensure that we don't get any unplanned downtimes. I hope you learned something new about how collaborative engineering and simulation can increase your company's competitiveness and how you can make better use of your machine's data and with that take control over your success. Oh, and uh, keep in mind that if your phone's ringing in the future, it may actually be one of your machines calling, asking you for a short chat. Thank you very much and goodbye.